And listen, I'm not for, for one minute suggesting that integrated schools is, is a great mm. panacea for all the world's ills, but I think it has to be, that's how it starts and then, you know, five-year-old kids coming into school, they don't know these things, they don't have these hang-ups, and if you give them a chance at that age, by the time they're 15, 16, 17 years old, they have these friends for the rest of their lives, and they have much more sensitivity and much more respect, and that, for my mind, to my mind, builds a much better, safer and potentially safer future. And yet no major political party, as I understand it, in Northern Ireland is really taking this line at the moment. Uh, again, I think it's a desultory attitude. They are not, it's half-hearted. It's not serious enough. Now, your point, Michael, was that the peace process had the benefit of a fair economic wind. The, the south of the Republic of Ireland was booming, become the Celtic tiger. The north, uh, the job creation, the, the British government had a ton of money to pour into there to rebuild it. That's not true on either side of the border now. The Republic is in, is in profound difficulties. Um, I mean, they, they've got further into recession. They started earlier than the United Kingdom. They've, they've gone further and they have less to boil them up. They're a much smaller economy. But Northern Ireland, too, is uh, obviously going to see job losses along with the rest of the United Kingdom. I think we've got a kind of a picture here that we now realise with a little bit of hindsight that we've been complacent over three issues. We've been complacent over intelligence. It's clear we didn't have quite enough. We've been complacent uh, over the economic situation, which has obviously been a very important part of the peace process. And I think we've been complacent over the education. Of the fundamental issue issues. That, that, that Barry has highlighted today. So, you know, maybe this will be the time for a bit of a reappraisal. Barry, will the recession, a shortage of jobs, that's always the danger. Kids, teenagers coming out of school, they can't get jobs on both sides of the border now. That's the danger, isn't it? It is the danger, but you know what, uh, Andrew, we can't afford not to take this extremely seriously. We can't afford not to fund this. We, we've got to consider these problems and really invest money in them because ultimately that's going to secure peace. And, and integrated education is a fundamental part of that. Barry, thanks for coming on tonight and sharing your thoughts Great on to that. Have you. Good to nice see to meet you both. Very good to see you. Thank you. Now, you lot, no sneaking off to bed or you'll miss 60s legend 